Greetings, brothers and sisters. Here is a special public service announcement. Starting from right now, four of my lucky viewers and listeners will have the grand opportunity to win a free book from the Wisdom Unveiled Enter the Lion book line, as well as a free full reading which comprised of advanced numerology, commonly known as a full name reading, so you can know your personal power, and a full card reading so you could know important aspects of your future and make the necessary changes for a productive and happy future. This, my friends, is what we all need to go into 2024, the year of Ehiose, commonly known as the year of the dragon. It is important to note too that you will be given a grand opportunity to step up in life financially as well. You know, in the Bible it is written that money answereth all things. Therefore, we are offering you a golden opportunity to make thousands of US dollars working with my daughter's real estate company. You can work from home. The task is very simple and straightforward. You are simply making calls to her clients and training is provided. All you need to do is enter the raffle, join our Patreon. The link will be in the comment section of each of my YouTube videos. Click the link, choose a membership, and sign up for the chance of a lifetime. My YouTube channel is called King Majesty. There are many fake channels out there, so make sure you get it right. We have over 2,000 subscribers, so type the word King Majesty. And let 2024 be a great year for you. Let us begin. Greetings. Good night. Hello. Yeah, good night. How good you night. doing? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm pretty good. How can we help you? You could get a name reading or a card reading. It's really up to you. Okay. I would like a name reading. Okay. All right, let's do it. What is your first name? Sonia. Sonia? Sonia, T-O-N-I-A. Oh, Tonia? Yeah. Like T as in toy? Yes. T-O-N-I-A, Tonia? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Haven't seen that one. What is your middle name? Yolande. Y O L A N D. Y O L A N D. Yoland? Yes. Uh, what's yes. your last name? Marshall. Marshall. How you spell Marshall? M A R S H A L L. Okay. Marshall. That's M A R S H A L L, right? When yes. is your birth? date June 2nd 1977 1977 okay now we have said that there are 12 different types of peoples in the world right we have also said yeah. that those born 1977 in China they say you're born the year of the snake but in reality if you are a black person, we don't call you a snake. We call you Fadil. You're from the house of Fadil, F-A-D-I-L, okay? Okay. Yes, the Fadil people are uh, perhaps the most secretive people in the world and perhaps the wisest as well. You're born on the second day. That makes you quite romantic, right? <laughs> or should we say yeah. should we say afromantic because if you're not a Roman you should not be romantic you should be afromantic if you're African blood right so let's say you're afromantic okay yeah yeah and your prayer time okay. your prayer time would be between nine o'clock in the morning and eleven in the morning that's nine a.m. to eleven a.m. 
do you do you okay. um, do you do any meditation or or pray? I pray, but not as often as you know. Probably should. Oh, but you could meditate too, you know. You could meditate. You, you could. You yeah, know. I do a lot of thinking. Well, some people think till they worry, but you should. You could meditate. Meditating is like um, totally blanking your mind and just relax. And when you do focus, you focus on things that you want done. But not to the point where you're going to worry, right? You can actually command things to be done, right? You have that power. You understand? Worrying is another thing. Worrying tends to mean that we don't trust God, right? The same power that brought us yeah. safely from baby till now will take us through. So we need not worry, okay? Let's look at your okay. name. Tonia, T-O-N-I-A, right? Yeah. Now, if I'm to decode your name, T will be number 206N5I9A1. Your land will be Y706L3A1N5D4. And Marshall will be M4A1R9S1H8A1L3L3. Let's get back to Tonia. The mentality number based on the vowels O, I, and A is 6, 9, and 1. Well, that adds to 16. Now, 16 is a destructive number, okay? Are you listening? Yeah. 16 brings upheaval, chaos, danger, explosions. Now, the vibration of number 16 tends to be a bit negative. Great care is needed or danger and great defeat would be the result. Love and marriage seldom work out happily. So, if you got 16 as a first number in your name, it could be a bit tumultuous in your love life. How is your love life right now? Is it great? Good. Yeah, it's good. Excellent. Now, if your love life is good, how long have you been in love with this particular person? Oh, almost a year. Good, but remember that you don't really get the super tests in love life in the space of a year, you know. You're still in the infatuation period, okay? When you okay. reach like in the third year, that's when the real tests begin, like seriously, okay? That's when you both see okay. the really, like the real negative side of each other. In the seventh year, it gets even worse. But in the third year, you got to look out for some, some speed bumps in the road, right? When is this person's birth date? Um, September 11. September 11. What year? Uh, 1960. 1960. E yeah, he's 60, he's 60 September gone, so. He's 60 in this year, September? Yeah. If he's 60 this year, he's not born in 1960. Actually, if yes. he's born in 1960. No, listen. This year is the year of Dowdy. This is the year of the rabbit, okay? So so anyone that is 60 years old this year is a rabbit because it is a 12-year cycle, all right? Okay. Now, so he's born the year of the rabbit, you're born the year of the snake. That's not bad, you know. That's kind of workable. The only problem is that um, you may sometimes have minor communication gaps. Sometimes you may not communicate so well, but that's not... I won't rule that out at all, okay? Okay. Yeah. But remember, you're still in the infatuation period. You don't reach the real bumps in the road as yet. It happens when the relationship is around three years or so. 
remember you're gonna have to make up your mind to be forgiving because both of you will make mistakes okay it's the test of life the the test of love actually okay your oh. personality number is seven do you dream a lot no. or rather do you remember your dreams yeah Because if you got seven in your name, seven is a very good number for dreamers. But seven means great independence. A lover of constant changes. People under this number make famous writers, actually. They are dreamers. They have powers of magnetism over others who do their bidding. Full of new ideas. Great learning. Great insight into what made the world go wrong. You're generally a winner, okay? Okay. And your destiny number is 23, which is excellent because 23 is a number of success. It means great cleverness and brains, great personal gifts, success in speaking and success in writing. So your future plans are bound to work out well. All right. But remember, you got 16 okay. as your mentality number in your first name, which means that at some points you're going to you can get some serious tests in your love life. Are you a forgiving person? Yes. You think so? Yeah. Remember, you know, the key to your happiness would be your ability to let go of the I past, forgive. to not live in the past and to forgive. If you can do that, you win. Okay. With your mm -hmm. land now, your mentality number is seven. You don't know what seven means already. The personality number is 19, which means lucky. Greatly fortunate. A good bet to win honor, fame, and fortune in the near future according to plan. So you can become an excellent planner. Like an, you, you know you have people who are event planners. Like they plan weddings, they plan uh, parties, they plan events. You know those kind of people? If you've got 19 yeah. in your name, it means that you will do well as a planner, okay? okay? Among other things, right? Yeah. But your destiny number is 26. Now, 26 is a good and bad number. People on that number can be leaders. They can be public speakers. You know, strong, wise, able, successful. Or they can be jailbirds people who are always in trouble so make sure that you have proper control over your temper at all times okay you used to okay. fight you used to fight at school no not really good so you basically have control yourself right remember 26 yeah. is good and bad so you're gonna have some ups and downs in life and you're going to have to be able to handle the downs with the ups okay okay and then we got Marshall the mentality number is two and that makes you quite romantic and that's a good thing right yeah here's what number two says it says here romantic Full of driving power in carrying out your ideas, but unsettled, nervous, and a bit wandering. People under this number sometimes lack faith in themselves and are given to fits of despair. Relax. You'll be fine. But your personality number is 28, which is not so good. You may not be very lucky when it comes to court cases, so try and stay out of trouble, all right? And your destiny okay. number is 30, which means that you are a great thinker. A person able to handle huge, important affairs. It shows an acting talent, and it's a favorable number for doctors, nurses, or anyone who would do medicine. All right? You ever thought about becoming a nurse? Yeah. But you didn't go for it? No, not yet. You're still thinking about it? Yeah. It means you have a brilliant mind? I'm trying mind. to get to some stuff before I pursue that part. Uh -huh. At some point, you may end up doing, if not nursing, like 
you may still end up doing some kind of caregiving, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I know. 30 is a wonderful number for nursing, caregiving, social service, and all that. Well, your full mentals is 16 from Tonya, 7 from Yolande, and 2 from Marshall. And your full personality is 7, 19, and 28. Let's see what we got. Okay. Your full mentals is 25, which is excellent. It is a number of prophetic dreams and visionary sight. It actually guards you against the evils of black magic, which means nobody's able to, you know, destroy you with witchcraft and all that, okay? It is a number okay. giving strength and endurance against great obstacles. Therefore, you will overcome trouble, overcome money worries, and overcome illness as well. Successful in the face of strife because of courage, you'll develop a strong willpower to guarantee a rich future. So you're looking good, right? Okay. Hold on. And your full personality number is 54, which is also quite a wonderful number. Do you know what 54 means? You know the power of 54? No. Every number have a power, you know. 54, here's mm -hmm. what it says. A scholarly number. Are you thinking about studying some more? Yeah. The more you study, the more you win, because that's what 54 is about. It's a scholarly number. Great learning, great thoughts, rich gifts, good health, the deep respect of your neighbors, a happy, well-balanced routine life. That's great, right? Let's add it up now. 79. You ever play netball? No. Why? Huh? You never had no interest in it? No. Any kind of sport? I like the game, but I, I don't play it. But you, you kind of like to watch playing it, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's some kind of sport that you would do well in. If it's not netball, it's something else. All right? My age, right, though? <laughs> no. i talking about in your growing up. Oh. All oh, right? Okay. There was some kind of sport. I didn't get that opportunity. You didn't get the opportunity. There was some yeah. kind of sport, though, that would have helped you a lot, even mentally, too. Now, you got some pretty good numbers in your name. You don't have much disastrous numbers, really. I mean, you got 16, which is a problem, but if you know about it, you can control that, right? You got 28, that's another yeah. problem with courts, but if you know about it, you can just behave yourself, right? You, yeah. if, In my view, I think that you'll be just fine. Now think about your overall future now. And call any number that comes to your mind. We call this um, the law of intelligent selection. Call any number that comes to your mind between 10 and 73. Give me a number. Any number that you don't know much about. Any number that we did not discuss. Eight. Pardon? Eight. 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 No. Between 10 and 73. You can't call it. Oh, between 10 mm, and oh, seven sorry. and 73 that's a pretty wide range <laughs> okay. I don't hear you 46 46 any reason why you call 46 just because it's my age no 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 you must not know why you call the number just a random number. You must have any idea why you call the number. Come again. Any number. But you must not know why you call it. If not, it doesn't work. This is the law of intelligent selection. That doesn't seem intelligent at all. Because you don't know why you call it. Give me a number. 34. Pardon? 34. 34. 
I have a question for you. You ever wondered if somebody was working witchcraft on you? Sometimes I, 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 I wonder that because of what I'm going through. Right. Okay. Now, don't tell me what you're going through, right? But let me tell you this. <laughs> There's nobody working witchcraft on you, okay? All right? Okay. You see, 34 is a deeply spiritual number with magical voodoo or occult traits. A strong insight and intuition help you win personal control and victory, but don't overreach yourself. Play the game of life cautiously and avoid overambition. Now, 34 carry a kind of a suspicious a superstitious overtone to it. Sometimes you'll feel as though maybe somebody trying to block you or trying to stop you, right? Yeah. But ignore that. Nobody's trying to stop you or block you. It's all in your head, all in your mind, all right? Okay? Okay. okay. This voodoo trait, most people don't understand what voodoo is about but voodoo is african war making power it is similar to the ability to to pray and bring things into fulfillment by by ordering it from the universe voodoo is not witchcraft is not obia these are all different elements different things okay okay when things not working for you it is important that you realize that you're trying to do something that the the powers that be did not send you to do. That's why it didn't work. Not because somebody is doing something to block you, okay? okay. All right? Most people don't have that kind of insight or power anyway. All right? And remember, you are a Fadil person. The Fadil person don't really trust anyone, you know. They're very suspicious. They don't trust anyone. And they very often expect that people try in something. But it's not really so. So let go of that, okay? As, okay. My, as my mother used to tell me, let go and let God. Just let it go. Just be positive and if something don't work, you try something else. If that don't work, you keep knocking on doors until one finally open. Keep knocking on windows till one finally open. But don't look back. And don't assume that somebody's blocking you. All these mental blocks is blocks that we create. Most of the time they're not even real. Okay? Okay. When you find yourself doing the thing that you're sent to do, it works like a dream. There's no block. What you could do is pray and ask your guardian angel to show you the way. Therefore, pray at your prayer time. That will be between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. No. Okay. Okay. But What's there's a my direction. Your, your direction is south. To pray. It is south, southeast. Face the south, right? And turn an inch to the left of south. And you'll be facing the south, southeast. You'll be facing your guardian angel. And God did give humanity command over angels. It's just that they never tell us how this should be done. But this is how it's done. All right? Any questions? Okay. Any questions? Yep. Uh, so I don't is hear you. Is there any way you can tell me why I'm going through all of what I'm going through? It is your test. It is just a test. Whatever it is, it's a test. Relax. Ask for guidance and go through it. You'll come out the other end beautifully safe and sound, okay? Remember, if you okay. pass the test, you'll get a new test. Life is all about tests. That's all. You're in a big university called life, and every day there's tests. 
Or if you fail the test, you get the same test in another way. If you pass the test well, you get a new test. Right? You're oh. tested until the day you die. That's the deal. So just see it as a test. Don't let it upset you. Just know that you'll get through it. Okay? Okay. If you want to discuss it, you could call me privately and we talk about it. All right? Could you give me the number that I could call you privately? My number is uh, 876 844 2295. That's 876 844 2295. You see, I don't want to discuss okay. your problem on the radio because you are Fadil. Fadil is a very secretive brand. Your business is nobody's. Okay. Your business is not the public's business. You get it? Okay. You take it easy now. Okay, I'll call you Anytime. tomorrow. Absolutely. Take care. Okay. Bless you. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Bless you. Good. Good night. Hello. Good, good night. night. Good night. How you do? Not too bad. And okay. you? I'm pretty good. How can we help you? I want a card reading, please. Okay, here we go. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. Number 2. Come again. 5. Okay. Come again. 7. Come again. 9. Come again. One. Come again. Four. Come again. Six. Okay. Your first card here is the moon. How old are you? Forty-four. Forty-four. Are you in love? <laughs> uh, oh, a good one. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I have a good man. I'm telling a lie. Huh? I have a good man. You have a good man? Yeah. And you are a good woman, right? Yes. Okay. Anyway, the first card here is the moon. Uh, you may have a problem coming up. Um, are you very forgiving? Yes. Well, you will be tested. Your ability to forgive or his ability to forgive will be tested, you know. Yes. In other words, something is likely to happen where, well, someone is going to make it look like one of you is cheating. <laughs> you understand? Yes. And the other one going to have to be very forgiving. If not, you lose the, you, you, you could both lose the game. When is your birthday? 23rd. 23 of what? November. Uh huh. What year? 1979. Okay. And when is his birthday? May the 5th, 1963. 1963. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. So you born 1979? Yes. Okay. So you are what we call Hakizimana, you are a Hakizimana woman, which means you're born the year of the sheep, okay? Okay. And uh, he is 1963, that means he's dowdy, he's born the year of the rabbit. How long you guys been together? Three years. I think it's Three years. Three years? And he yeah. born in 63? I think it's Ruben. 59. Sorry. He, he born 1959? Yes. Okay. Uh, so 1959, that makes him Lysimba. Okay. 59, yeah. And you are uh, 1979. That is uh, Hakizimana. So he's born the year of the boar. You know, the boar is an old time type, type of pig, right? Okay. So let's see what happens when Lysimba goes with Hakizimana, hold on, hold on. Let's see how that works. Lesimba uh, man, Hakizimana woman. It says here, 
listen carefully. Lesimba, husband, Hakezimana, wife. Mm. A warm, intimate marriage for this couple. You hear that? It sounds like it's something nice. A warm, intimate marriage for this couple. Both will give their best to the union and have a deep love and genuine concern for one another. You know, it's not the behind the hour. Are you there? Yes, sir. It says it is good, okay? Okay. A warm, intimate marriage for this couple. Both will give their best to the union and have a deep love and genuine concern for one another. Right? Okay. The boar, yeah. which is him, is sturdy, gallant, and thoughtful, enough to please the gentle and compassionate sheep lady. You hear that? <laughs> she, that's you, you know, on the other hand, will mother him and make him the object of her worship. He, okay. he is sensual and simple and will interpret her possessiveness as true love and devotion. The boar, which is him, is generous and protective, and the sheep, which is you, will perform her best when she knows she is loved and appreciated, as she will be in this union. So it's actually a very good thing. <laughs> okay? Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't matter who come and tell you rubbish about him. Don't 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 listen to that, okay? Okay. Yeah. And if somebody come and tell him rubbish about you, he should not listen to that. Okay. As my mother always tell me, the devil is a liar, right? True. Yeah. My grandma tell me that too, so both of them can't run, right? True. Now, there's a woman here at your second card wearing a wedding gown. She's a priestess, which means that someday you'll get married if you're not married yet. Someday you will, right? Okay. There's a card here now called Change. Change. Hmm. Does any one of you drink alcohol? No. Good. Does any of you smoke? No. Does any of you gamble? No. Good. So you have to be careful when it comes to habits, because habits yes. can create problems between you and him. Okay. Okay. But you don't. It don't look like you have much big habits to worry about. There's another card here now called the Hangman, suggesting that you need to eat more greens. You like greens? Okay. Yes. Eat more greens. Okay. Remember, you're born the year of your sheep, and a sheep is an animal that like to eat in grass and those things there, right? Right. Sheep is like goat, you know, them eating the f eat down people cabbage and them thing there. So I saw my eat today too. <laughs> good. Eat up your greens because it will save you from becoming diabetic. Any diabetics in the family? Yeah, my grandfather. Okay, just make sure you eat up your greens and um, avoid sugar as much as you can all right okay yeah. better you use honey instead okay and there's a card here called intuition suggesting that um you have a good man that's a king of intuition so you have a, a good king man here just take good care of him one of the things that you can do you know is give him a regular massage especially his legs okay yes <laughs> you know if his blood don't circulate properly in his legs you're gonna have a problem because yeah, then he will not be able to perform. <laughs> right. And you want him to remain a bad butting billy, right? Right. So massage his legs. Right. You know, people tend to die, especially men. They, to, they tend to die from their legs up. Okay. You know, when the blood stops circulating, then they're dying from there. So please, let him buy some virgin olive oil and bring it home and always rub down his legs. He needs to massage your shoulders. As well. Yes, because the work what I do is pain me sometimes too. You get pain in your shoulders? In my body sometimes. Yeah. Um, there's a daughter here. You have any daughters? Yes, I have a 19 year old. Yeah. You and her have problems? No. Good. Because there's a daughter here. She's the princess of evolution, suggesting that she's going to do really well in life, okay? Yes. And there's a card here now called well-being, which means that your health, <coughs> your health is not bad at all. What's been bothering you lately, health-wise? Any back pain? No, look, um, can I tell you the truth? Yeah. Um, I was, I know, I, um, I feel so bad because this gentleman gave me a work. Uh huh. And. I appreciate it because I never did a work for one year, so you have me down. 
Mm -hmm. So from he from he died, he come like it's, I'm just crying, crying. So a couple of days, I just lay down and prayed to God, mm -hmm. asked God to deliver me. So <coughs> you I tell you the truth. You crying because the person who gave you the job died? Yes, guy. He was a good gentleman. Okay, good. Well, put it this way: How old he was? Let me make your uncle to ask you. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Good day. Good night. Uh, yeah, good night. The person who died. How old he was? He was forty-five. That's rather young. What he died from? You know, some two um bike man ride up on him in his car and shoot him up. Okay. So so he was assassinated. He was murdered, right? Yes, he was murdered. Okay. You know. But they don't know why people did that to him? No, I know. Nobody know why they did it to him. Okay. You know? No. Everybody just mourning from his workplace to his house. You know? Yes, 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 yes. But listen, let me tell you something. No evil deed goes unpunished, okay? Yes. And no good deed goes unrewarded, all right? Okay. And however a person die. No matter how violent it is, that is the way they, that was their, um, what you call their destiny, you know. Yes. If not, it couldn't happen. Sure. What creates the destiny is a phenomenon called karma. All right? Okay. In other words, if you go and you kill or you, know, you shoot down somebody who is a very good person... Right? Yes. But yes. in your next lifetime, then you will be a very good person and someone will be allowed to shoot you down. You get it now? Okay. Y you wouldn't know that that would happen to you. Right? Yes. But it would happen because what goes around comes around. But that don't mean that the person who shoots you down will escape the judgment. Because that person will get their own judgment as well. Okay? Yeah. So everything uh, that happens... And another thing too, nobody actually dies, you know. He's not dead, you know. Yeah. He lost his physical body, but he's alive. He's on the <coughs> other side with the ancestors, okay? Yeah, that I understand. She right. told me that she dreams see him and his father. Is that, yeah. Um, you know, stick and die, uh, like three years ago. His father died? Yeah. Yes, like three years ago. Uh -huh. And she dreamed she see the two of them together? Two, two of them, yes. Yeah, he's... He, the father was happy, and but he was vexed. Well, yeah, yeah, but the thing is, yeah. these people are not dead. Yes. Them just lose them physical body, right? Body, right, right. And over, on the other side now, he will be counseled by the elders. They will explain to him why he died in that way. Okay. So by now he would know why he why he had to die like that. Yeah. And perhaps, just perhaps, he may even understand why it had to be. You get it? Yeah. yeah. Life is a mystery inside of a mystery and wrapped up in a mystery. And it's a test inside of a test and wrapped up in more tests. But no one escapes the judgment. No matter what you do, you have to pay for it. Yes. The, um, no wickedness going to punish, you know? No wickedness going to punish. Going to punish. Mm -hmm. But remember mm -hmm. that what is wicked to one person, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Does not appear wicked to another person, you know? Okay. In other words... It's possible that the person who did it may even want to kill somebody else and he looked just like the person. Hmm. You understand? Yeah. It's also possible that he may have done something in this life that somebody thinks he should die, but that's not the point. The point is, is what we do in a past lifetime that comes back to us in this lifetime. And what we do in this lifetime that comes back to us in the next lifetime. 
Okay. Okay. No, yeah. no. What I just told you is not something that religious believers would say. Yeah. Because within the realm of the religious belief, they don't think that way. They think that um, uh, you know, you die, you go lay down till the trumpet blow, and then you get up, and then there's a judgment, right? Yeah. But a human being gets his judgment all the time. But you're born, you know, you, you do mm -hmm. something weird, you die, then you come back to life as a baby, some the same weird thing happens to you, and then you die again, and it, next lifetime, he may be the one that shoot back that guy, right? Yes. If you don't forgive that guy, he'll, he'll pop him next time, right? Yeah. And if the guy don't forgive him, then he'll shoot him next time again, and it goes on and on no, and no, on no. and on. Okay? Yes. But the good person in this life may have been a bad person in a past life who just yeah. who, who did that to a good person and come back and experience being a good person in this life and it happens to him because we have to pay what for whatever we have done so in other words if he's a good person in this lifetime um you would be if a good person in this lifetime that's up to you okay Right? Understand, understand. If you're a bad person in this lifetime, right? You yeah. do bad things, but then you kill a good person, then the next lifetime you may actually be a good person. Mm -hmm. You know, you want yeah. to live a, a clean life, right? Not knowing that you did bad in your past mm -hmm. lifetime. And then you know while well, being a good person, then something happens to you the same way. Like, yeah. like a man may rape a woman, right? Yes. A boy, a man may rape a girl and he comes back as a girl with a vagina, yeah. And someone else did the same thing to him. But to he's, he's going to get raped. Right. He he come back as an innocent girl. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you rape a girl, no matter how them lock you up, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't pay for that. You oh, must okay. experience being a girl and experience that that shock and horror and pain of being raped by a man. Because that is what yeah. you dished out last time. Okay. So then you come back now, you come back as a girl. You're a war of, of, of vagina, right? Yes. Yes. And, uh, and in this can same, I have a card you can do it when it's, Can I have a card you? Yes, yes, you can. Yes. So remember, I'm yes. saying all that to say that we must make up our minds to do what we know for sure is right because right. whatever mm -hmm. we do have to be paid for. Yes. All right? So you you can become... Do the right. Try to do the right at all times. Do what you... Look, okay, listen. There's only one rule that you need to obey, you know. Mm -hmm. The Bible got, like, what, Ten Commandments and all that? You just need right, to obey right. one rule and that is the golden rule that says do unto others only the things that you will wish others to do unto you. That's it. Yes. No other rule is really necessary, really. You wouldn't want somebody to rape you if you were a girl mm -hmm. and you're a man now. Well, just don't rape a girl, right? Yes. You won't want somebody to kill you, don't kill nobody. You won't want someone to rub you, don't rub nobody. Because whatever you do have to be paid for. Okay? Definitely, right. No, definitely. Right? Yes. So now, call any number from 1 to 10. 8. 8. Come again. Five. Come again. Nine. Come again. Four. Come again. One. Come again. Two. Come again. Three. That's it. Remember, as I said before, that the person who does the, the bad thing, right? Yes. May have been a good person before. Oh, okay. But he didn't, he didn't um, uh, forgive the badness that happened to him. She come back to this life as a bad person with a built-in, inborn intention to do something wicked, right? Yes. Not that in wicked, you know, but 
wickedness happened to him mm-hmm. and he died with that revenge feeling he comes okay. back in this life to take revenge and he does it you can judge him all you want you <laughs> can judge the man that raped the girl all you want but he got he was raped before when he was a girl Okay. So he comes back now as a man who raped the girl who is now a man. No, he is the man. But that man that raped him is now a girl. Mm-hmm. He may never rape another girl, but he raped that one, right? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying now? Yes. Yeah. I don't know if these things are easy to understand because a person who don't want to understand will not understand that. Not everyone is wise enough and fair and honest with themselves to understand the laws of karma. It's like the law of cause and effect. It's like the law of gravity. What goes up must come down, right? Yeah. What goes around must come around. That's, those are laws. Laws that cannot be changed, not even by a God. A God can't... If you fling a big rock up in the air, right? It's going yeah. to come back down. Right. There's no law that's going to make it stay up in the air, you know. It's going to come back down, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Now, Jesus can forgive you for this or that or left or right, but you still got to pay the bill. The JPS forgive you for wasting the light. No, sure. Yes. The Water Commission forgive you for washing your car three times a day, right? Okay. Wetting your lawn and wasting the water, right? Yes. But they're going to send you a bill, my bridging. At the end of the month, a bill is going to come. You got to pay for that. Yes. No matter what we do, it must be paid for. No. If you find out something and you go kill the man that do this to the man, then you're going to involve yourself knowing something that don't call to you, right? Yes. I end up caught up in bad karma, you know. You get it now? So, yeah, if you know true. who do what to who, you you tell the, the police or tell the law and you get that to court and let the person get a fair trial. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Let me, cause, cause you know, even, though you, even, yeah, even though you believe it's him do that, it still may not be him. And you go kill okay. that person now because the person killed your daddy or whoever, right? Mm-hmm. And it still may not be that person, even though it looked like it is, it looked like it got to be him, it still may not be him. True. So then get caught up in revenge. You tell the law what you know. You let the person get a fair hearing, a fair trial. And who knows? Maybe you may find out that it really was not that person neither. But if you take the law in your own hands and go kill the person, then you get caught up in bad karma when you're going to have to get killed next time. Now, what a thing. What a thing. That would be so sad. But there you go. So the mystery of crime and violence is the fact that it happened before from the other angle, okay? All the crime and violence that happened is what happened before in the opposite way to the opposite person. So those who do the crime and violence now is the person who got that crime and violence done to them before. You get it now? Yes. Right? Yes. Good. Your first card right here is called the magician suggesting that there's going to be a miracle in your life. Something you never thought could have happened for you will actually happen. Something good, okay? Yes. Your second card right here is the devil, though. Now, that is not good. All right. Yeah. No, I think that you you should give me a call sometime and I'll explain something to you. Okay. Okay. Just explain. Just remind me that you got a card called the magician and then you got a card called the devil. And I'll tell you more when yeah. you call me. All right. Yeah. There's another card here to now called the King of Conception. How old you are now? I'm um. 65. 65. Have you ever been married? You know, yes, I've been married, but... Um, what happened? It don't work out, you know? Oh, you but know. why not? Like some 10 years ago. Oh, okay. You okay. know. So why you think it, why you think it don't work out? You know, they... Why you think we it could don't work out? Um, get along. You remember what year the person was born? Uh, Too long ago. 61. Mm-hmm. The person born 1961. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you born what year? 50. 
59. 59, okay. That's two very different people there, okay? Yes. Yeah. So you are Lisimba and that person's Bandela. That doesn't work. She would be very, very stubborn, right? Yes. Very hardworking, but a very yes. serious woman. Too serious for you, okay? Yeah. That don't mean that she was right or wrong. It's just that it, that doesn't work. You were incompatible. Yeah. All right. Yeah. She will make another man an excellent wife, and you'll make another woman an excellent husband. But the two of you couldn't make it. There's another card here now called the Chariot. Did you buy a car? Yes, I have like um two car. You mm -hmm. know, they're both working. No, I, I sold one and uh, I had one, but it's not it's not working now. You I'm gonna, you're trying gonna, to, um, you know, do some little stuff on it to, uh, to make it You're going so. to get you're going to get another car. Okay. And also, someone will help you to get a piece of land as well. Okay. Yes. And there's a daughter here. You have any children? Yes, I I got four sons. No daughters. No daughter. Well, but I got a granddaughter. Well, there's a girl here. Maybe this is your granddaughter. But if this is your granddaughter, she's more powerful than all your four sons put together. Okay. She will be a powerhouse. You have another card here now, and there's a son. So there's a granddaughter and a grandson who will do amazingly well. Okay? Yes. And you have another card here now called the moon. So this card, the moon is a card that shows that um, you may be, you know, accused of some uh, running around when it's really not so, okay? Uh, running around with? You will be accused of cheating on someone, all right? Okay. But that don't mean it's true, you know, but it will look very true. Okay. So be very, very careful because they say in Jamaica if something don't go so, it nearly go so, right? Yeah. Don't make it nearly go so. Live an upright life. Yes. And make sure that mistakes you made in your past, you don't make them again. All right? I'll just try. Yeah. Whatever mm -hmm. mistakes you make in the past, just learn from it. Don't blame mm -hmm. nobody. Don't, don't, don't blame anyone. Just learn from it. The key to life is to learn. Yes. It doesn't matter what people do to you. It matter what you learn from it and how well you can forgive because okay. if somebody do you something bad all it means is that you did them something bad before in a past lifetime so you may as well learn to forgive because if you don't forgive you can do them back something bad in your next lifetime and then yeah. it's like a dog for his all the tail. time you know and you know you know, when people do me bad stuff I, I just remember you the thing that you say yes when I listen to you so you know I just let's forget you uh, let me yeah. tell you this you can create miracles in your life just by forgiving. True. In other words, I have experimented, right, on forgiveness. It is the greatest power, self-control and forgiveness. Forgiveness, the power to forgive, allow you mm -hmm. to have ultimate self-control. Having ultimate self-control gives you the power to be forgiven. But all that happens if you have the understanding yes. that even though you feel that you is an innocent victim, that is an illusion. Absolutely innocent victims don't exist. All right? Yes. You may be innocent in this life, but if somebody get the chance to do you something, it's because they were allowed to do it, which means you did it to them before. That's why they were allowed to do it. Because no power can stop them from doing it. That means that. Okay. Why the power can stop them? Do you pray? Yes. Well, I pray, but um, I used to pray um, every day, but I don't find myself praying every day like I used to. All right. It's not everyone praying, or some people just meditate, but do something. Mm -hmm. Relax yes. at your prayer time okay yeah do you know your prayer time from 11 to 1 
What year are you born again? 1959. Okay. And what, what, what month? May. Okay. If I'm so if you're born 1959, you would be December. So your prayer time is between 9 o'clock in the night and 11 o'clock in the night. Oh, 9 and 11. Yeah, 9 p.m. Not 9 and 11, no. Yes. 10 o'clock is great. Anyway, between okay. 9 and 11, it's a two-hour period. It starts at 9 and ends at 11. Yes. Right? And face yes. the north, northwest. That means you need to face the north and then turn an inch to the left of north. Okay. And you're facing your guardian angel. Okay? Yes. So, remember, when I speak, I'm not just speaking to you, you know. I'm speaking to uh, people in prison who think they've been locked up unfairly, Right? Yes. People who whom crying, who believe that people rob them unfairly or do them bad things unfairly. That doesn't happen. There's no such thing as something bad happening unfairly. It happened because it happened before from the other end. Okay? Okay, yes. It doesn't matter who in pain or what happened to them. They did it <clears throat> before. <clears throat> yes. To... Maybe even the same person who do it back to them now. Okay. That's what happens. That, that is the mystery behind crime and violence. The mystery behind crime and violence is it is because it was. It is because it was. Yes. You got the devil come up in your reading, so you're not in a good position. You're in a very bad position. Okay? Yeah. So you need to call me. Okay. It is very important that you do. All right? Yes, yes. All right. You take care now. Yes. Thank you. Bless it.